Hi, my name is James Horncast. I'm the City A expert for the Guardian Football YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? There are videos on La Liga from Andy Brassel, Ligue 1 from Julien Laurence, and the Bundesliga from Raphael Honigstein. But right now, let's look ahead to the weekend in City A and my five talking points. Max Allegri returns to San Siro to face AC Milan, his former club, after being outed by his new employers, Juventus, as a fan of the Bianconeri as a boy who used to have Michel Platini's poster on his bedroom wall. He meets again Pippo Inzaghi, the player he clashed with at Milan. He once asked Pippo, do you want my job? To which Pippo replied, sure, and I'd do better at it. Pippo has certainly made a good start to life as boss of the Rossoneri. He's taken maximum points beating Parma and Lazio, but can he lead an injury and suspension hit Milan to victory? over the champions who also have a perfect record. It promises to be a great show at La Scala del Calcio. Fiorentina have been one of the best teams to watch in Serie A on recent years under Vincenzo Montella, but they've had a difficult start to the season. They lost to Roma on opening night and then were held to a draw by Genoa on Sunday. They've actually run dry in both of those games and Fiorentina haven't been goalless in the opening two matches of a Serie A campaign since 1990. That's almost a quarter of a century ago. Now, how do we explain this? Pepito Rossi has undergone another knee surgery. He scored 16 goals in 21 games for them last year. Mario Gomez disappointed again against Genoa. He was replaced before the hour mark. And Juan Cuadrado is still yet to get up to speed after the World Cup. Next up, they've got a difficult away trip. Uh, in Bergamo against Atalanta, so Fiorentina definitely not enjoying a purple patch. Palermo president Maurizio Zamperini seems to be dusting off and sharpening his axe. His former player Gianluca Azzori, an ex-coach of Sampdoria and Catania, was in the stands as Palermo lost 2-1 to Hellas in Verona on Monday night. Is he set to replace Italy's very own Tony Pulis, the baseball cap wearing Beppe Iacchini? Zamperini insists not. He says, uh, Yakini can lose his next five games, starting with Inter on Sunday night and still be in the job, but is one of Italy's most famous manja allenatori or coach eaters really going to be that patient? I doubt it. There's a lot of nostalgia as Cagliari crossed from Sardinia to the capital to play Roma at the Olimpico on Sunday. Zenik Zeman comes up against the team he twice coached, he was sacked by them 18 months ago. His first act as Cagliari manager for a Uber attacking coach, it's obvious he sold his best centre-back David Astori to Roma. He's reunited with his former Cagliari teammate Rachanai England, who's been Roma's best player of the season so far. Whenever you talk about this fish, you have to mention Daniele Conti, the Cagliari captain and son of Roma legend Bruno Conti, Marizico, member of that 83 Scudetto winning team. Well, he's been an ungrateful son. He scored five goals for Cagliari against Roma. The question is, will he do so again this Sunday? My player to look out for this weekend in Serie A is the general midfielder and Italy under-21 international Stefano Sturaro. In all likelihood, he'll play against Lazio at Morassi on Sunday. He's established himself as a first-team regular in the last year. He's a local lad. He's from San Remo. He's a Genoa fan. He's got the Griffone tattooed on his arm. You know, Juventus signed him in the summer for €5 million. Euro. They've allowed him to go back on loan to Genoa to get regular game time. It's part of their policy basically hoovering up all the top talent uh, in Italy. You think of the co-ownerships that they have, uh, Domenico Birardi at Sassuolo, you know, they sold Simone Zaza to the Nero Verdi but have an option to buy him back. So when you put it all together, when you look at these young players that Juventus have assembled, Pogba, Coman, Morata, you know, the old lady has really secured a bright future. So those are my talking points. Let me know what yours are in the comments below. Do you think that Pippo Inzaghi can get the better of Massimiliano Allegri. Remember, you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the link below. There are videos by Andy Brassel on La Liga, Julian Laurence on Ligue 1, and Raphael Honigstein on the Bundesliga. So check those out. Check back with me at the beginning of next week when I'll be wrapping up all of the action from the weekend in Serie A. Join me then, and ciao for now.